this is Underbar Guy, welcoming you to a review of the CN2 Low No Show Core Brief with Sling Support. It's a long title, but it accurately describes the brief, which is a low rise brief. The core line is currently what CN2 refers to as their main staple. It's only available in black and white, hearkening back to the very first introduction of CN2 underwear, but with a few twists and some updates from that original line. This brief retails for around $17 and you can get it directly from CN2 at cn2u.com but it's available from a lot of different online retailers and some brick and mortar stores as well. Looking at the waistband here, you'll notice this is the updated CN2 logo waistband. So the logo is larger and is done in a silver thread. And just to compare from the original line, this is the thong and it shows the much smaller logo. It's a slightly different design as well. Uh, some of the characters have slightly different weight. The waistband height itself compared to this original version is uh, it's a little bit taller on the core line, the new core line now. One of the reasons that I know CN2 decided to update the waistband besides being able to display their logo in a somewhat more modern design was that the interior of the original waistband was a very plush microfiber texture and that felt really great. It was very soft. It's a little hard to see. I don't know if you can see the detail, but it has a nice level of texture. The problem, and you won't see it in this version because this has not been worn or washed really much at all. So it still looks pretty much as new. But over time, that particular waistband would start to pill and disintegrate with a lot of wash and wear cycles. As a result of some of these issues with the waistband, CN2 now has this updated elastic, which is smooth on the inside. You'll see here, and you can see all the metallic thread showing through there. But the advantage is that this doesn't wear out with multiple washes and, and wear cycles. It stays in pretty much the original quality that you had when you first bought it. So that's a, that's a nice update. It has a fair amount of stretch. It's actually, I think, a little bit easier stretch than the original version. And uh, it still does a good job of not rolling over while you're wearing it. So I think this is a really good update to the original design. On the inside, you'll see what I've often referred to as their book of tags. I'm not a big fan of this. You've read in the reviews. I just feel like it's a lot of fabric and really a lot of information that could be consolidated into a simpler tag format. You'll notice there's even an empty panel here where they had more fabric and tag than they had information to print. The upside, and I always mention this, is that it's a very high quality tag. It's a very thick fabric. feels like you're getting your money's worth out of this. Just to compare again back to the original this is the earlier version. It's a little bit thinner and has a color underneath the line there. That's still the same issue with the multiple tags here. The construction on this brief is very high quality. It's on par with other mainstream brands like Calvin Klein. Something that I always look for is how clean the seams are on the waistband joint. If there is an exposed elastic waistband, you'll notice the stitching is very clean and the edges of the fabric are very straight. There's very little overage or variation, which is really good. And you can see here it's consistent all the way around the waist. The leg bands are also very nice. They're reinforced fully covered elastic. I've never had a problem with the brief wearing out where in some lower quality briefs this elastic might wear through and get exposed. It's also a really nice level of tension on the leg band where it keeps it snug and in place but it's not so tight it's going to irritate you throughout the day. The 
fabric on this brief is a 100% cotton. It has a fine rib which allows it to stretch because otherwise there's no spandex so this this would otherwise be very stiff and uncomfortable. The uh, thinness it is a little bit see-through. I mean any white underwear is going to have that. Part of it is the thinness of the fabric and you can see here through there there's a little bit of show through again this is pretty typical I wouldn't flag this as being a quality issue this is very standard level of thickness on the fabric and on the front pouch it is dual layer so that's really not a problem again this is great fabric for just an everyday classic brief that you can wear all day at work or other activities it's a very versatile brief The pouch on the CN2 briefs is always known for being very accentuating, shaping, and lifting, and the core line pretty much carries the exact same design forward. I couldn't notice any major differences in the pouch design on the core line versus the earlier versions. It has the same accent piping, which helps separate where the dual layer fabric starts and stops. The center seam curve is noticeable here, and that provides the lift and shaping in the regular brief. The only difference is the sling is not sewn in on the inside. Otherwise, this is about as good as it gets. The only downside is it might be a little bit snug for some of you. It really depends on your level of comfort and how much lift and shaping you like. I found that seam twos generally run true to size. I have actually occasionally, when I found that these briefs might be a little tight, I've sized up just for a more comfortable set of briefs, and that actually does work. So you, in case you've ever been turned off by your first round experience with CN2, try a size up just in case, and you'll find that they may even be more comfortable. So as the name implied, there is a built-in sling support. For those of you who've never seen this kind of mechanism before, this might seem quite surprising and really raising a lot of questions. Those of you who are familiar with CN2 and their sling support will find this all very standard, so you might skip ahead. Basically, this is an elastic loop that's sewn in at the join from the fabric and the elastic waistband and there's a small plastic button that anchors the loop and this is adjustable you'll notice in the elastic there are small holes that allow you to pull this button out and let make the loop larger or smaller and what you do is you pull your package through this loop and that lifts everything upwards and outwards on this brief does it work absolutely it's a it's a very common mechanism for accentuating your profile. Uh, California Muscle actually had a lot of these kinds of mechanisms in their underwear before CN2 is on the market. And uh, so this is, this is not necessarily new, but it's probably the first time it was introduced in a more quote unquote mainstream underwear line. There's been really very little changed from the original loop design. The elastic is now, in this case, a different color. It's a lighter, almost off-white blue. The first version of the sling was a dark gray elastic. The button was also a matching dark gray. And there you can see an example of what the button looks like. It's just a hard plastic. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, especially if you've never seen this or tried this kind of thing, is it comfortable? Uh, it works. For a while, I would say it probably becomes uncomfortable after, on average, an hour of wearing it. For myself, I've done it and tried that, and hey, it's great, it looks great, but it's not something I would want to wear all day. Simply, the elastic is rubbing on the skin where you're more sensitive, clearly, and it starts to dig a little bit, and basically you just want to take it off at that point. So this is a really good option if you're going out for a short period of time, you want to make a splash, but longer term, no, I wouldn't really recommend wearing the sling for a long time. The upside is you can always wear this brief with the sling off. 
you can just take the button out temporarily and then the loop just is loose there and it doesn't really interfere while you're wearing the brief. And of course, the next easiest thing is to simply cut the elastic out of the brief. You can just trim it at these two points and then you'll have basically the core brief as you would when you don't buy the sling mechanism. The only thing is that brief is a couple dollars cheaper at $15, so you might as well buy that one if you know you're going to cut this out. So overall, I'd say this is actually a really good brief. I liked it myself. It fits nicely. It looks really sharp. It's clean and a really great option if you're looking for an everyday, all-day wear brief. So until my next review, stay tuned and thank you for listening. <laughs>